Hello and welcome to the next in the series of startups from machinery from the National Motor Museum Bewley and wasn't that just wonderful? This is the 1924 Model 3 Sunbeam and this lovely bike has got connections with Formula 1 which we'll go on to talk about in a little bit. A little bit about Sunbeams and this particular bike um, and it's, I got it out because it really is a favourite, one of my favourite machines in the museum. This model, the Model 3, came out in 1915 and they were used by the War Office as general purpose um, courier bikes and used during the Great War and indeed the Model 3 with a few refinements went on to be manufactured through to 1926. It is a 500cc, well 499cc single side valve. It's 85 bore and 88 stroke so it's over square and in top gear you can almost say the well known saying it fires at every lamppost. It's a lovely long legged slow revving machine. Just a beautiful bike. Some beams were formed by John Marston Limited and in 1901 they split making cars and making, making bicycles and in 1912 Sunbeam started to make motorcycles and this is of course one of the earlier Sunbeam motorcycles and a great bike it is too. This bike actually appeared in Olympia, this actual machine, on the Sunbeam motorcycle stand and it was sold to a doctor by the late great Graham Walker. And Graham Walker was the competitions manager and works rider for Sunbeams and Graham Walker went on to take the world title almost like world champion of bike racing the day in I believe it was 1926 um, could have been a bit later but Graham Walker sold this bike and he was really shocked later on in his life that this bike and uh, several other machines were bequeathed to him by the original purchaser, the guy that he bought, sold the bike to in 1924 from the stand. And then Graham, who was at the time Lord Montague of Bewley's motorcycle curator of the newly formed Montague Motor Museum, and it is said that the collection of motorbikes there in the Montague Motor Museum was the first public uh, viewed motorcycle museum and Graham donated the bike and several others to the uh, museum. So this bike has a continuous history, we know it has been restored once but it has an awful lot of refinements which we believe were special to the bike because it was on the motor show stand. So things such as the plated fuel pipe, carburetor body and oil regulator uh, valve were a lot of refinements that we believe can be attributed to the show bike. So as I say it is an over square 500cc side valve, you can clearly see the side valves there and the oil regulator. It has a war department refinement which was a chain driven magneto, very precise and then if you come through druid front forks with suspension and the suspension on the rear is a heavily sprung rear seat and then if you look around the bike you will see a rod cable and rod operated drum brake and then if you come around the other side you'll see a gear driven speedometer drive coming through a right angle drive and a cable up to the speed speedometer mounted on the handlebars. Here we have the oil system it has a oil pump which is a strip through a sight glass straight down into the crankcase but if you feel it's running a bit low in oil you can suck up a piston full of oil and direct it straight down into the crankcase to give it extra oil. Then we come down and we have the M&L single cylinder magneto 
and then if you see the Sunbeam little oil bath chain case which was a, a feature of Sunbeam motorcycles that their primary and the secondary chain on the other side ran in a bath of oil which gave them longevity of service made them a little bit more difficult for servicing the bike but also protected the the chains from all the dirt and muck. Now I mentioned the heavily sprung seat to compensate for no suspension on the rear. Lovely tool toolboxes. Nice spring loaded catch there. And if you look here this device is an acetylene gas generator and you have carbide crystals in the bottom, water in the top tank and you regulate the water feed, drip feed down into the crystals which then generates acetylene gas which is then piped to the front and the rear lamp to illuminate your way. I would say probably that the uh, lights were more for being seen than seeing with to be fair. And you'll see even there is a, uh, that's how you light the gas in the back and that's a little clear lens to illuminate the number plate. And then when you come through round, round this side you'll see this is the mechanism to operate the rear drum brake through the cable and another Sunbeam little oil bath chain case and an inspection cover that you can actually take out and uh, see into the, the chain case and there's your chain. Moving along this is the kickstart and the clutch mechanism and the gear lever for the three speed gearbox. And then looking at the handlebar controls you'll see the gear lever first, second and third there is, actually you can just about see them here, instructions on how to change gear. And then moving forward to the handlebars, you have the front brake, which is this lovely swept forward lever. You have the hand throttle on this, and this is the choke mechanism, the mixture, full, fully closed for starting and then running you bring it back until it's running nice and sweetly and then you come past the wonderful gas headlamp to the speedometer and then you have the advance and retard on the ignition the clutch lever and the valve lifter or decompressor some people call it for starting the engine to give you that first kick over. And there we have it, the wonderful little 1924X Motor Show Model 3 Sunbeam. Now I said that this had a Formula 1 link and I mentioned Graham Walker who sold this bike, the competition manager for Sunbeam. Graham Walker was Murray Walker, the great Formula One commentator's father. And indeed, Murray Walker was raised in Beauty Village, so we have a, a strong link there, and particularly with this bike. I hope you enjoyed looking at this wonderful bike as much as I enjoy riding it. Stay safe, everybody, and we'll have some more exciting vehicles from the collection to show you very shortly. Thank you.